Hey anyone, how's it going? Welcome back to me on camera, where tonight we're watching episode 2 of Echo. The first episode of Echo really surprised me because I wasn't expecting, well, a lot of it. I didn't think that the, you know, the Native American, the Choctaw creation myth would indicate, oh, look, she's going to get superpowers. I didn't think that Daredevil was going to show up in the very first episode. I didn't think that... Oh, she's leaving the organization. I thought she was going to leave crime behind. But no, she's just going to try and take over Kingpin's whole crime, you know, organization for herself. Which I think is kind of stupid. <laughs> That's where we're at right now. She's going to get superpowers and she's willingly going to get into a fight with Fisk's people. Oh, and Fisk's alive because, you know, he got one of those lucky headshots where, you know, the bullet put passes through the brain through the entire head, and you're pretty much okay. Which is, funny enough, not comic book insanity, since there have been people who have survived getting shot in the head. But that's enough talking. If you enjoy this video, consider hitting the like button. If you want to see more of my content, consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you want to help me out a little bit, consider hitting the join button and becoming a member of this channel. You get a ton of cool little perks, and it should be fun. But if you don't want to do any of those things, then let's just get in the episode. Interesting. So we're back with the the first Chocta. What do we call these people? 1200 AD. Alabama. More surprises. I didn't think we'd come back and revisit the past like this. I mean, I didn't think we'd get the past in the first place, but honestly, this is really cool Native American representation. Because we get to see so many other cultures have, like, their pasts depicted. And in terms of Native Americans, we've only had their pasts depicted through the eyes of Europeans. Okay, so the sport looks like it's like lacrosse, but with uh, two sticks instead of one. Ah, yes. War games. To be entirely honest, this is preferable to an all-actual war. Oh, you know, if you lose the game, your tribe gets banished, but at least it's a game and not, like, actual bloody battle. I'm assuming all these, at least these people in the background, are actual Native Americans. Oh... So are there this is so this is Maya's ancestor and she's is learning how to activate her own superpowers. Does that mean every episode we're gonna get to see different members of Maya's ancestry activate their superpowers until Maya in the last episode? Which is why the subtitle said that her name was Loak, which is the title of this episode, and Maya's name is the title of the last episode, which is when she's gonna activate her own superpowers. Ooh, ooh, Echo's getting an intro. Was it more unexpected? Oh, this was the ending of the last episode. This is an intro. Okay. I enjoy the song choice in this intro and I love how they've formatted everything. And again, like so much like through seeing the shadows through the tent, like the beginning, so much overlays and cameras movements. Differing perspectives. It's hard to describe, but... Oh. Again, right. The same with the... Uh, her apartment back in Hawkeye. Since she's deaf, you gotta have a... Instead of a doorbell, you gotta have a door... Light. Do you want to steal his car? Depicts the animals talking to... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, scamming white people. From humble Native American artisans. Oh, he's using sign language to tell him what to say in the background. Yeah, oh, it hurts. It cringes so much. Like a little hummingbird's tongue, tiny. Why do you need that? Did did Echo ask for that? Maya asked for that. Thank you. Very helpful. Now, Nita, you know Chola's store's been closed down for a while now. Wow, 
Oh, that hurts as one of those, like... Oh, that's right. We need to tell something for exposition, don't we? Thank you. Yakoki for all your hard work. Is it an exposition thing, or are they trying to imply that this one in blue is... Uh... Rude. Shit. She revealed the ground. Uh, she spoiled it. Aya, you're taking advantage of this dude. He's been super nice as a cousin helping you out, and you're like, oh, I'm just gonna take advantage of him. And uh, come what may. He's gonna die, isn't he? Yeah, actually, no, it depends on how dark Marvel intends on getting. He can just. Uh, he can. Probably gonna get at least very heavily hurt. Somebody and do not bash, speak in front of Malik, but he's probably gonna get hurt, very hurt. Because that's Marvel's thing. But if they really want to get dark, he's going to die. Because that's what happens to two nice people in these kind of stories. That was a long time ago. And? Long time ago? What? Do you not think... Are you not sad about your daughter dying? Why wouldn't Maya be angry, be sad about her mother dying still? Not to mention her dad has died in the time since. Just pass through town without causing any trouble. Great grandma there. Instincts there, huh? Get the hell out of here, granddaughter. Maya, this is a really stupid decision. How do you even know the train is there? Well, fine, there's probably enough vibrations for you to feel it, but... Well... What happens with this? Cheer, seriously. Stupid, stupid decision. Ugh. If only... You could get a trackers that would show you live locations like that. The most frustrating thing about any trackers I use is it's constantly having to refresh, 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 and down. You can't have... What is the first movie to have one of these uh, on top of a train, got a duck for the things, the scenes? Like, what is the first movie to have that? What made it the cliche? It must be super hard to be stealthy as a deaf person, because you don't actually know how much noise you're making. I mean, this is a train, right? It's hard, easy to disguise the noise, but like, honestly, how do deafness and stealth go together? Was this really the best place for you to go hide? What's in here? What are you looking so hard for? So what was, ah, oh, the picture. What was the aim here? What did you get from that box? That was so, imp be careful, you idiot. Oh, you, okay. Good news, she isn't hurt. Bad news, that leg is very expensive. Ooh, superpowers. Let's go. Ah, her hands glowed. Okay, superpowers. Let's go. Are you really expecting him to be behind the train? What, what are you doing? What are you using to... Oh, she's creating sparks to draw a signal. Okay. But I mean, you're a tough woman. Couldn't you just, like, jump off the tracks? <laughs> Girl, jump! You're gonna be fine! Oh. What, what did you steal? Don't BS me, what'd you steal? Don't smile. Don't BS him. He just came with you and did this without a care in the world. Alright, it's arrived. Maybe we can find out what's gone. Problem is, it's not in there. D9X. Oh! Oh, you... Okay, fine. You didn't lie. You planted a bomb. Oh, God. Echo, you are... Stupid and selfish, and I really hope you understand that once uh, s once that biscuits guy kid dies, that guy's good. That guy's dead. Yo, don't kill the dog though. Mouths shut. Yep, he knows the D nine and X is the fix is Fisk's box. Caught in something. I mean, she's not lying. She did get that caught in something. What? What is that foot? Show me the picture! Are they really? 
Come on, she made a special order fancy new leg and they're gonna hide it from us for a couple episodes? <laughs> Come on, Maya. Chill out a little bit. Man's a handyman in himself. If he can make a, a brand new leg out of a, a bike. I mean, people play so much money for these things. To, to fit properly and work properly. And uh, he's just building one. And it'll just work. And especially it'll work well for someone who's kicking, who's doing insane stunts and kicking butt. Take uh, time. Oh. So it really is a lot like Daredevil. <laughs> but we're gonna save the real reveal for later. I was, I was confused that like, hey, they're just giving, he's just giving him the leg, giving the leg? Ah, uh, the proper leg's gonna come later. Look, a creaking leg is only gonna make it even more suspicious. In times of need. Yeah, that's stuff, something she definitely needs to learn how to do. They're I wasn't thinking about it before, but the reason she's avoiding the grandma is because she blames her for having to leave. That is not how you do that. That is not how you... So generous to that boy. You are... Just admire it, you know? Yeah, yeah, shut up, woman. I really don't like you. Who are you again? I'm a good one. What, what was the trouble? No trouble. No trouble at all, just avoiding talking about your cousin's sister. Oh, you said her name, idiot. Yeah, they don't care. They don't give two shits about your little revenge I want to take over thing. Honestly, I can't wait for some redemption because she's a... She's an idiot. No, you don't. No, what power? What bullshit power? How are you going to stop this? Genuinely. Echo, okay, okay. Maya, you, 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 you destroyed their weapons. That's great. Uh, um, what exactly stops all of the many Fisk's men from simply buying more guns? Because this is America. No, she doesn't know that the people who are closer to get hurt. Because she hasn't known you all you people to be close to her in her adult life. Ooh, look. Another ancestor. Any the episode? Any the episode. Well, that was episode two, Loak. First things first, we got to see more of her ancestors. Not the same ancestor the first chopped off from the first episode. But like I said, I figured out we're going to see different ancestors throughout the five episodes. Honestly, Maya was really stupid this episode. She has deluded herself into thinking she can somehow take over Fisk's criminal empire on her own it's one thing for a superhero character to believe that they can take down a criminal empire on their own when matt tried to take down fisk's criminal empire okay yes it was just a, it was just a stupid an idea it, it's simplest but at least it's more feasible right you stop people from criming anymore you, the leader's away, and you end up killing them by accident, and stuff like that. And that's how you disassemble the Empire. I genuinely don't see how you get from one person alone to ruling that criminal Empire when you're in Maya's shoes. Shoe. Like, great, you destroyed their armory, but... What is that going to do for you in the long run? How do you get from where you are to in charge of the criminal organization who you killed the leader of? I, I understand why she doesn't care so much about the people, about her extended family. Because, you know, as a child, you, you lived with them for a little bit and your mother died and you were had to leave. Right? As far as she knew, her grandmother, who she was going to have a probably some kind of loud conf confrontation with next episode or summer time in the next two episodes she was the one who forced them to leave oh my mother died this is when i need the support of my family most never mind we were kicked out and made to just leave far away i she definitely has resentments about that despite being willing to go back and like seek help from them which is Kind of a double-bladed thing. It's like, I resent you. But I'll definitely take your help. Right? Oh, Biscus, you gotta do this very dangerous thing for me. I won't... I don't give two shits about what happens to you after. But, uh, thanks for doing this. 
Oh, you guys might get in trouble. I don't care. Uh, you're going to help me, right? Right? It's a very selfish mentality. And it's also short-sighted. I don't see things going well. I think Biscuit's going to die or get badly hurt. And I really hope they, uh, I hope they don't kill the dog. It's not going to go well next episode. Thank you so much for watching. What was your favorite part of this episode? Over here is the next reaction. Whenever that comes out, over here is a playlist of my videos. Where my face is the subscribe button. Like, comment, subscribe. Criticize even. I don't mind. See ya.